baseline, blocked by Horace Grant. Under two minutes remains as Penny Hardaway calls the play and brings it across the timeline. O'Neill goes down low and comes out to set the screen. Hardaway kicks it to Dennis Scott. Anderson gives it back. Shot clock at six. At five. Shaft inside. Throws it up. And a foul call. No basket. Well, you better get out of his way. He comes. Wennington's fourth. There's the block. Horace Grant makes the block down on Bill Wennington. And then they come on down this way. Go into Shaq. So Shaq will get a couple. Big free throws now. Well, the Bulls are going to have to do this the very hard way, Thomas. Is he hiding back there? Yep. O'Neill, second. And it's 97 87 with a minute 30 remaining. BJ on top for Scotty. Back to the kid. BJ tries to penetrate. Gets it over to Pip. Makes the three. Drives in. Baseline Bill Wennington with a jumper. Nope. He's had a tough night. Hardaway with a rebound, and that one hurt. They had to go home and win a game and come back here again. They want to advance to the next round. Hardaway between the circles. Finds Dennis Scott. On top, Hardaway. Starts to drive. Baseline Nick Anderson with a double pump and throws it in. 99-87 now. Magic with the lead. DJ's pass was deflected and Hardaway gets it. They'll bring it across the timeline and they'll be very happy now to start running some clock off. That's right. That arrow will be taken right out of the ball. And the Bulls will let him. This place is going absolutely berserk. As Hardaway drives inside, Wennington with a steal. Out to BJ. Drives inside, BJ lays it in. And it's a 10 point Orlando lead. Cross court, Hardaway. And Scotty will pick up the foul on entry, Hardaway. Tip picks up his fifth. Yes, Steve Kerr will check in for the Bulls. Here comes Judd Bushler. Hardaway, 17 points, 11 assists. Nick Anderson swinging around with a nice job. It's only four points for Nick. Bulls will bring it up now. Shot clock, game clock, just about the same. Bill Wennington on the slam. 17 seconds left. 101 91. Finally get it into Brian Shaw. BJ Armstrong will follow him. Our Chicago Bulls Budweiser player of the game, Michael Jordan. 15 of 28 from the field, 8 of 8 from the free throw line, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 39 points. MJ is our Chicago Bulls Budweiser player of the game. Coming up after the game, we'll have live call-ins. We'll be live in the locker room. Your chance to call in and talk about the game. And we'll be in the locker rooms as Brian Shaw comes up short. Yeah, the third quarter was a bad dream. Oh, man. As many have been this year, John. Horace taps it out. And the Bulls want a timeout. Bill Jackson wants to talk about it. So with 14 and a half seconds left, Bill Jackson wants to talk it over with his ball club, and we'll keep it right here. And John, I guess now you look ahead to game six with the Magic up by 10 points. 
And game six is going to be an interesting one. You'll see we have it here on Sports Channel at 6.30. Magic now with a chance to win it. they got to win one of the next two. That's all they have to do. And, of course, game seven will be right here. Could there be one? But I guess the question is, what do the Bulls do? The Magic made some great changes going into the third period, John. Boy, they did. Uh, they had a great third period. They outscored the Bulls. Uh, 36 to 20 in that period. They did a great job of moving the ball, getting some open shots, and uh, Horace Grant led the way five out of six shooting. He had six rebounds. Bull just could not get any more help than Michael. Michael was five for eight in that period for 10 points. And uh, the rest of the starting lineup chipped in to get the other 10 points. So. Is it the goggles? Well, they say it's got to be. It must be, huh? Well, John, the thing you and I talked about at the start of the third period was Orlando had, had gone away from keeping Horace up high when the Bulls sent Scotty down to double team. Instead, Horace went right to the basket, and that really took away that option for the Bulls because they just made it they made it very difficult with Horace going right to the bucket, getting a couple easy ones. Now, Horace did a nice job all night. Shaquille O'Neal had seven had 14 offensive rebounds going into the last quarter. 20 rebounds in a game. Horace with 11. So they had really taken care of the Bulls on the board. You see over the years, uh, the Bulls did with Horace. Without them, they still out rebounded their opponents, but the Magic went up considerably rebound wise with Horace there. Michael and Scotty on the bench now. Well, the Bulls need a 11 point play here. Bulls wanted it on the other side, and Danny Crawford says, This side, you said it's coming this way, and that's what it's going to be. Tony. Triggers the inbound pass, allowed to Bill Winnington, who can't hit that. BJ gets the errant ball, throws up the running hook. Nope. And tapped in by Judd Bushler with eight and a half seconds remaining. Inbounds, they'll find Bowie. And a foul called on Judd Bushler. Judd picks up his third, his second. And so Bowie will go to the free throw line. Anthony Bowie at the line. Two. Bowie with a pair. Crowd pretty much staying here, enjoying the moment as the Magic win a big, big game five. Well, neither, neither team had uh, much help off the bench, Tom. Uh, they did with their starting lineups, and uh, the starting lineup a little bit stronger with Dennis Scott hitting on all those threes. Five and a half seconds remain, and this ought to run it out. B.J. bounces it inside Judd Bushler with the slam at the buzzer, and that does, in fact, wrap it up for the Orlando Magic. Here in the Orlando Arena, the Magic pull out a very big game five. After the Bulls had a 10-point advantage, John, in the, in the second period, Orlando in the third and in the fourth did a great job and finished it off with a win. And uh, now, as you say, this is a tough job for the Bulls coming up uh, Thursday night. We'll have it here on Sports Channel. Tough, tough call. All right. You got to pick up that one, and you have to come back here Sunday if you want to win and go on to the next round. And the Bulls will have to improve their rebounding, not let them get that many offensive shots because the Bulls could have put this game away in that first and second quarter. All right, Magic with a win. They lead the series three games to two. Now let's go back to our studio. Once again, here's Steve Cashel. And here's Steve Cashel.